Welcome to our session Interactive Visual Aids for Gastroenterology. Seven principal tips to drive engagement. My name is Olga and uh, together with Tatiana, we have prepared a session on Interactive Visual Aids for Gastroenterologists. Just to give you some more insight of where our experience comes from. Uh, by Seven is a full digital agency specializing in life science, multi-channel communication, uh, content creation and management. We have been operating since 2007 and annually we created about 65,000 sites for cardio, oncology and uh, of course gastro and other therapy areas. Frankly speaking, gastroenterology presentation can boast creative approaches and non-conventional ways to engage. But before we come there, let's first get to know the persona of the gastroenterologist, discuss the approach to engage them, and then see the live demo. Let's look into the customer profile more precisely. Gastroenterologists are really busy and sometimes even exhausted emotionally. Cleveland Clinic carried out a survey on more than 700 gastroenterologists, which revealed that nearly half experience burnout and that work-life balance drives it more often than practice-related issues. Let's look into their daily routine. Uh, they spend more than 8 hours per day on direct patient care, 3 hours per day on administrative tasks, and 2 hours per day on work at home. That is pretty intense, I would say. And they see a massive amount of patients. According to Medscape, the majority of gastroenterologists, 71%, see between 25 and 99 patients per week. Alongside, gastroenterologists appear eager to use digital resources that they believe benefit the uh, physician-patient relationship. And uh, uh, they would prefer digital tools that highlight compliance, that is, patient following the orders. Moreover, 61% of gastroenterologists agree that professional media influences their clinical decisions and yet, 45% do not think any pharma companies are not enough quality videos that are made available for healthcare professionals. American studies demonstrate that email communication use uh, alone physicians has increased in 16% in primary care and as much as 72% in large outpatient settings. Email is beneficial both for pharma HCP communication as well as for HCP patient support. And let me tell you a case study. In a pilot study conducted at uh, Sunnybrook Health uh, Science Center, Toronto, Ontario, evaluating email management in uh, patients with IBD, email communication appeared to have many beneficial um, features from both patients and uh, physicians' perspectives. By adding email as a means of uh, a triaging self-managers, additional clinic time uh, with shorter wait time can be made available for new uh, consultations and sicker patients requiring in-person assessment. As per Medscape study, only about 25% of gastroenterologists aged 31-40 years do not use social media, a rate that is higher than that among other specialists in this age group. About 50% of those older than 61 years are not engaged in any social media. Facebook is the most popular medium in all age groups being used by over 64% of gastroenterologists, 31, 40 years of age, and by more than 25% of those older than 61 years. LinkedIn, the network that provides professional contacts and connections, is fairly consistently used by approximately 15% by physicians between the ages of 31 and 60 years. 
Twitter is not widely used by any age group. Of interest, however, is that Twitter used among gastroenterologists in the oldest age group, 61-70 years, is greater than in the younger age groups. Aside from offering new research opportunities via passive data collection, social media platforms can also be used to more effectively interface with patients. For example, they can be used for clinical trial recruitment, patient education as a place for affinity groups to provide and seek support, or as a way for industry members and providers to monitor consumer sentiment. So, we've learned the numbers and stats. And now, let's deep dive into the ways and approaches how to engage them. And the first way is uh, to visualize. Visualizations are the most widely used content types in gastroenterology presentations. You may visualize a medicine mode of actions, be it a tablet, capsule, suspension, or powder, or visual demonstration or of the digestion tract. And the most widely used formats for this are video, image, and animation. Unleash your creativity. We have seen very bold persons and metaphor used in gastroenterology presentations that we have never seen in cardio or nailer. For example, the slide intestinal motility was compared to a flight of a bird and the, and the digestive tract and the cramps. To such kind of the balloon, that was not in one and the same presentation, of course. And another way for us to visualize the information is uh, uh, to use the patient builder. Patient builder is the interactive section where the HCP uh, enters the predefined values and generates customized results. Uh, you can go uh, for predefined profiles and present them to the HTPs and then discuss them with him. Or you can select step-by-step -step certain criteria and then come up with the profile. Important clear and accurate visuals of the patient type should be used to represent each patient. Most commonly used criteria for patient profile builder are body weight deviation, key symptoms, for example, patients with pain or diarrhea, tired, exhausted look, the average age of the patient, and make sure you have a separate tailored slide flow for each profile. Uh, what is even more important is uh, to make a release formats and dozen schemas clear and understandable. Support the possibility to compare schemas and also calculate the cost. The fourth tip is use the power of key opinion leader to impact on the diffusion of innovation. Using KOL video or references has following wins. Expert opinion in your intellect visual aids Use of proven data from reliable resources. Independent review that matters for the physician and patient. Make use of it on presentation slides or dedicate a complete section to such video reference. Or take the conversation outside the physician office to webinars, for example. Another case study, according to Access Monitor data, uh, says that 49% uh, of gastroenterologists restrict their accessibility. It can be explained by the fact that gastroenterologists are tech savvy, while face-to-face -face or email communication only may be annoying. Virtual meetings and video streamings are welcome time savers. And concerning personality types, gastroenterologists were among the most extroverted physicians. Approximately 34% of GI respondents said they were extroverts, putting them among the top three extroverted specialties. Do not be afraid to put uh, and to start pilot um, new approaches and technologies on gastroenterologists, such as remote calls, for example.
We have a really successful case where a remote communication system from V7 was first used on industrial team and showed amazing results. The actual call duration increased from 2 to 10 times. Since, as you remember, gastroenterologists are open to innovations and are truly digital natives, when piloting new approaches with them, you can see the results quicker. And uh, one last uh, slide before we go into the demo, where we actually get content uh, with no extra cost and effort. There are several ways for that, and uh, uh, we will start with the first one, which is to convert from PDF to e-detailing. Have a possibility to use your uh, PDF or design files in a CLM app, add interactive components, and measure performance. The second way is to localize global assets. Have access to a global content hub where brand managers can access and reuse uh, best practices. The third way is to create from a template. Multi-channel content creation available as a self-service based on the pre-developed master templates easily and with no effort. And the last uh, way is to develop new content with the agency. Create flexible content that can be reused across the different and channels. And uh, just a hint, all of uh, these ways are supported in Evisa. Evisa Content Production Accelerator is a robust and easy-to-use platform. Evisa enables quick and effortless creation, update, and delivery of multi-channel content e-detailing, emails, microsites, interactive remote call presentations. It has the inbuilt DAM that enables brand managers to locate global content and adjust and localize it. Create content once and publish to many channels and CRM systems. It is a new way to manage interactive content and it is not make this possible. So let us now show you a very quick demo to give you some idea of the eWizard platform. eWizard is aimed to unite creative agencies and pharma companies, uh, affiliates under one platform with a single standard of content development. Uh, so here you may see uh, the eWizard online main page where all the um, presentations created within this account are stored. Uh, here we have the uh, Scopolamine presentation, uh, which was aimed uh, to engage uh, gastroenterologists. Uh, from here, we may go to the structure of the presentation. Uh, this is a really easy tool uh, where you can uh, like replace uh, the chapters and slides with the help of drag and drop editor, uh, you may use the, uh, you may change the sequence of slides or just use a specific, um, slides uh, for specific chapters and, uh, uh, needs. Um, so let's have on the, uh, slide uh, which uh, demonstrate uh, the patient builder described before. So here we may see that uh, with the help of the sliders, uh, we choose uh, the relevant characteristics for our average patient. And confirming them, uh, we may see uh, that this patient is Michael, 27 years old, married, and uh, the other characteristics available. Uh, with the animation, uh, we may see the process of uh, uh, patient examination um, like interactively. Also, uh, we may uh, add some other elements as for example x-rays or other results uh, um, into the structure of this slide. And uh, further, um, we may also uh, change some um, elements on the other slides, for example images and text. Uh, according to the needs uh, uh, of the market where this uh, very presentation will be shown. For example, we will use a little bit uh, older woman um, and uh, let's say uh, she's uh, 40 something years old and uh, um, her name uh, is Anne. 
Um, so you can see that uh, a double clicking on the text element or image element, uh, you may upload uh, new images or change uh, uh, details on the slide uh, within the text uh, component. But to make uh, more uh, serious changes uh, into the structure of the presentation, uh, which um, like uh, have to be used on the local market, for example, let's say in Germany, uh, we may also create the localized copy of this very presentation. Um, just uh, to give you a hint, um, this uh, uh, digital content localization and review, reuse are made available in Unified Workplace. And you can do this localization in three possible ways, either online or offline or with the help of third party agency. But for example, we were requested to make this off changes within the online editor. So you can see the example uh, of how it works on the screen. On the left, uh, we see uh, the original presentation and uh, on the right, uh, we have uh, the windows for um, the text uh, changing. So uh, we will be able to change the text, fonts uh, and uh, um, all the other characteristics. And uh, we may also uh, see that all of these changes were incorporated into this very slide. So um, that uh, it corresponds to the market needs. And uh, uh, another thing uh, which is really important uh, that uh, these presentations are uh, CLM agnostic. Uh, so uh, we may show you also the process of publishing of this presentation uh, to uh, the required CLM and CRM systems. In our case, it will be Viva Vault. So uh, you will be given also the possibility to view the uh, guide for the publishing. Um, and uh, this is made in several easy steps. So you just uh, change uh, the uh, language of the localization and, for example, the number of slides uh, which need to be published. Uh, you can uh, delete uh, the slides uh, or add new slides as well um, for the structure of this very presentation. Uh, but for the demo purposes, we only use one slide to see how fast it can be done. Um, on the left, you can see the summary of presentation information. And on the right, you will see the progression of the publishing process. Uh, with the percentage uh, shown uh, on the screen. Uh, usually the time for uh, publishing um, takes up to several minutes depending on the uh, size of the presentation or its complexity. Uh, but uh, I believe, yeah, for us it took only several seconds, like 30 seconds uh, um, to uh, publish this very presentation uh, into the VivaVault account. And uh, uh, I believe uh, this is all for our demo session. Uh, but uh, if you will have uh, any additional questions, uh, feel free to contact us uh, via the uh, information seen on the screen. Uh, so you can contact me or Tatiana. Uh, or our direct uh, uh, website uh, email, and uh, we will provide you with the additional information upon your request. Thank you for your attention. Um, also, please free, feel free to reach out if you have questions about how to create interactive presentation that's truly engaged, and you wish to do it without extra spending. Looking forward to see you on our next webinars. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the instant access to our webinars and videos. Thank you.